In this video, I will go through the many capabilities of the INT Viewer Navigation QC plugin and show how easy it is to use. The Seismic Navigation QC workflow is designed to speed up the review of seismic survey geometries. Using NavQC, you can quickly plot P190 and SegY nav data for quality control of receiver and shot points. You can also calculate survey attributes such as CMP and receiver fold to create useful and attractive geometry QC maps. Let's open a Watt Survey P190 file using NavQC. Usually these files are very large and QC can be slowed down. To improve display performance of large datasets, NavQC allows you to convert the P190 file into the proprietary XNet binary file. In addition, you can reproject P190 files using the robust GIGS compliant coordinate transformation tool. Let's now convert the Watts P190 file to the binary XNAV format. Go to Workflows, NAV Prep Workflow, click on Convert P190 to Binary. Navigate to the folder containing your P190 files. In this case, we will be viewing the NAV data for a Watts survey. INT Viewer will request for the map projection used in the field mapping if the information is not found in the file. Once all the relevant data is selected, input a destination directory and click OK. The program is now converting the files to the XNAV format. For a 2.5 gig dataset, this takes less than one minute. Let's now load the XNAV file and start the navigation QC process. Go to Workflows, Nav QC Workflow, Open Survey. Navigate to the XNAV Survey folder. Once all the data is selected, click OK. The program reads the files and the shot point locations are quickly displayed on the map view. Let's customize this display to add the receiver points and highlight their offset distribution. Let's change the color of the shot points and enable the receiver points display, which can be color coded by offset class. In this case, I will keep the color and increase the transparency. Once I'm done, I will adjust the decimation so that we can see most of the receiver points. Clicking on a source point displays the configuration of the receiver groups during that moment in the acquisition. In addition, the rose diagram displays the azimuthal coverage of the shots selected. We can investigate a subset of shots by clicking and dragging to select an area in the map. To create QC maps, we first have to define an area to grid. I will quickly demonstrate one way to do this in NavQC by defining one grid corner and other grid parameters. Once the grid is defined, let's create a common midpoint fold map for the survey. We can adjust the color bar to better reflect the data. We can now see that the surface CMP fold varies considerably for this survey. INT Viewer's NavQC plugin provides an easy and quick way to view seismic navigation data and create attractive maps along the way. For more information on INT Viewer, please visit us at int.com.